Hey everybody, Flamin' Jackson here. I hope everybody's doing alright today. Today, I'll be reviewing 5150 Sauce. This here is his Triple X Hatch Sauce here. This is a 5 ounce bottle. This is what it looks like here, y'all. Just got this in the mail today, and I can't wait to try this. Um, I got two other sauces I'll be also reviewing and you know, separate videos and everything, but this one right here is the one I'll be, um, you know, reviewing today. Uh, hopefully this is focusing in where y'all can see this, and you know, you can always, you know, pause this video if you have to. We got some QR codes here on the side here. That way you can, you know, just scan it with your phone and everything, and you know, Follow 5150 Sauce on Instagram and Facebook. So far, I'm really pleased about the way this label looks and, you know, the color of the sauce. You know, I've never tried any sauce from, um, from 5150 Sauce before. So, I'm definitely interested in trying this. Uh, I really love the green color. Of this sauce and you know I know this camera don't do its justice but it has a really good color to it uh, I'm almost picking up sort of like I could definitely pick up on green and it's almost like a hint of um, let's see here, maybe like a hint of brown in it but it has a really good color and I, I just can't wait to try well let's go to the back here to the ingredients y'all Ingredients, distilled white vinegar, hatched green chili, ghost pepper, tomatillo, garlic, onion, agave nectar, lime juice, spices, sea salt. Home produced food product by Mikey Clark, 5759S Golden Drive, Murray, Utah. Eight four one two three, and you got a number here eight zero one six eight zero twenty six eleven. Once again, that's eight zero one six eight zero two six one one. All right, and here it says it was bottled March sixteenth, twenty twenty four, and Best Buy September sixteenth, twenty twenty five. This here is supposed to be um, his uh, medium sauce, so I can't wait to try it, y'all. I'm going to open this up and let y'all know what I think about it. As you can tell, I mean, the seal's still on here and everything. It hasn't been opened. Hope y'all been doing all right and everything. Uh... We've been super busy and everything uh, today and everything. But overall, today's been a good day. Uh, been pretty outside. Other than the wind, I mean, it got, I think, close to the 60s today. Lower 60s, but the wind has been blowing. But, you know, overall, it's been a good day. All right, y'all, let's shake this up, and then I'll have a smell of the aroma, and I'll let y'all know what I think about it. Uh, I'm so happy to be making videos again for y'all. Like I say, I never know when I'm going to be able to make these videos, but I'm making it now, so that's the main thing, y'all. <laughs> Alright, let's have a smell. Let's see here. Take his flow restrictor off of here. Wow, I really do love the aroma of this sauce. This sauce here would make a great marinade for some beef jerky, it really would. When I smell the aroma of this sauce, that's the first thing that comes to my mind, beef jerky. The first thing I'm picking up on, I believe, is the onion and garlic. And I'm very sure I read it has onion and garlic in this. Yeah, garlic, onion. Garlic, onion, and the lime. 
it's the three ingredients that I'm picking out the strongest as far as the aroma, y'all. <laughs> it does smell really good. And I, I know a lot of people don't like garlic, which some people do, but I really love garlic. And this has a great garlic aroma. I mean, it's not overpowering, but it's there. But this would be excellent as a marinade for some jerky. I can't wait to try this, y'all. Let me get my spoon here. All right. Now for the pour, y'all. This here, it's supposed to be a medium heat and I would, I would say it's a medium consistency too got a really creamy looking consistency to the sauce wow That has excellent flavor, y'all. Like I said, uh, on the aroma. The garlic, the onion, and the lime is the first thing I'm picking up on. And that's the first thing I'm picking up on the taste, too, y'all. That's a great taste. And um, and I was right. When I was going to buy the aroma and I said it would be good on some jerky as a marinade, it would be. It really is. Let's get some more. I really like your sauce, y'all. Almost got too much, but <laughs> all right. Just gonna get two spoons right now, y'all. Where I'm doing that keto, you know, it has a little agave nectar in this, but the way he told me, it's not a lot, just a little bit. So it, it's not gonna hurt me on my keto diet, but I'm still. You know, not, I don't want to overdo it, but this sauce has excellent flavor. For, um, for flavor, I will give this a, I will give this a 10 out of 10 for flavor. For heat, for me, I would say this is, I would say a 3. Good 3. Um, it's a really good sauce. Uh, let me show it to you all again since I took the, you know, the seal off of it. And hopefully, you know, you can see it a little better since, um, since I took that uh, seal off. It has a really good consistency and everything, and it's a lot, it's got a lot going on in the sauce. A lot of good stuff going on. Um. But uh, if y'all haven't had a chance to try this sauce, once again, this is 5150 sauce. Um, and I, I definitely recommend this, y'all. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend this, y'all. Um, yeah, I would, I would definitely say this is a medium, a medium sauce here. Um, for me and everything, a ch for a chili head, um, has just the right amount of heat and everything. It's not overpowering, but it has great flavor and a good, a decent amount of heat. So that's a plus there. I definitely recommend this sauce, y'all. Um, here I'll show you the other two sauces I got too, uh, from Fifty One Fifty Sauces, y'all. But I'm not gonna review them just yet. see here we got the 5150 sauce fire roasted reaper and you got 5150 sauce smoky ghost and I'll probably be reviewing this ghost right here next and then the reaper last so y'all stay tuned y'all um, yeah, I definitely give this sauce a 10 out of 10 for flavor. It has great flavor. 
Um, like I say, the first thing I picked up on, on was the garlic, the onion, the lime. And of course, you can taste the peppers in it. I mean, it has great pepper flavors. Definitely, it's, it's definitely a really good sauce, y'all. And I recommend it, y'all. Um, it, uh, it's not overly sweet. It has just the right amount of sweetness from the agave nectar. Uh, but it's not overly sweet, and that's what I like about it. So, if you haven't had a chance, uh, go get you some 5150 sauce. You'd be glad you did and everything. Uh, like I say, it's a great flavor. Um, this would be good on a lot of stuff, y'all. I, I can't wait to try it out in different foods, y'all. But I appreciate y'all for watching this video. If y'all liked this video, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe, share. Make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be aware of any future videos, y'all. Um... It'll be more for where it came from, y'all, and, and I thank y'all so much for being patient with me. Like I say, I never know when I'm going to be able to make these videos uh, where we stay busy, but you just stay tuned, y'all. I'll definitely be making more. Um, and before I go, I meant to mention, um, like I say, I can definitely taste the lime in this sauce, but it's not overpowering. Um, if y'all don't know about me, I, I don't really care much for lime, but the lime in this sauce is really good. Uh, lime is just fine as long as it ain't overpowering. And the amount of lime in this is just right. It really is. It's not overpowering, but it complements the other ingredients that's in the sauce. It really does. I mean, if you didn't have the lime in this sauce, I guarantee you it wouldn't taste as good as it does. But I, I can't wait to try this on some different foods, y'all. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all for watching this. I hope y'all have a blessed day. And remember, you are loved. God bless y'all.